Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, and welcome to the Drizzly Canadian Maritimes where it's May the 4th and this is our weather. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, and got a nice uh, good shave going today. And the reason for all this, get up and clean myself up, we're going to Halifax, not going to Halifax, we're going to Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. What did I think I was going to Halifax? We're going to the home of Anne Murray, Canadian music legend, Anne Murray. Beneath its snowy mantle, cold and clean, the unborn grass lies waiting for its cold to turn to gray. Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. What are we going to Spring Hill, Nova Scotia for? Well, it's it's the annual SMART conference. Uh, it's an amateur radio technology conference held every year uh, by the uh, Westcom uh, Amateur Radio Group and a bunch of other guys in around the Maritimes get together, have this conference every year. It's been going since 2016, except for the couple of years during COVID. And it's held in Springville, or Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. So we're on our way there. It's an hour and a half drive here from the uh, homestead here in St. Antoine, New Brunswick, where it's... Uh, you know, 37 degrees and drizzly and foggy. Not pleasant. But tomorrow's supposed to be nice. That's what I keep saying. All right, let's get in the car and head down to Spring Hill. It's about an hour and a half drive. Okay, before we do any drive to uh, Nova Scotia, we're gonna stop at our Timmy's here in St. Antoine. It, uh, no matter where you go in Canada, Timmy's are almost everywhere. And there's always, there's always a lineup. Let's see what the lineup's like here at this one. I, we, we live in a pretty small town, so I don't expect it to be very busy at all. Yeah, one car and a truck in the way of the drive-through. Yeah, all right, let's get our coffee. I can help you. Yeah, large original black, please. That's it. Thank you. Large original black. That's my uh, go-to. All right, that was quick. Got our coffee in and out. Two dollars and forty cents for our large original black coffee at Tim Hortons. All right, so we're on our way. We're just leaving San Antoine, heading to Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. So uh, you may ask, what? Hey, Stuart, what the? Why San Antoine? Why? Uh, why are you in San Antoine and not in Moncton? Well, first off, we had a very small uh, piece of property in Moncton, um, not enough to put any ham radio antennas up for sure. And I wanted to expand and uh, have more room for antennas. So five acres gives us that. Um, but I also wanted the, the slower pace of life. I've uh, lived in cities all my life, and. Yeah, not to get too uh, political or anything like that on this video, because definitely that's not the the crux of this video. I just don't like how cities are uh, going. Uh, they're getting too violent. The crimes are crime rates going up. Uh, more and more transient. Uh, just not my thing. So I wanted to come and live in the country and get away from that all. Now San Antoine is a small a village, about thirty kilometers from Moncton, so we're not that far from Moncton. And uh, it has uh, everything that we need. It has a grocery store, Tim Hortons, a hardware store. And Baktouche was uh, probably the biggest city close to us. It's only uh, 10 kilometers away. Shadyac's another 15 kilometers. So we're not that far away from a lot of things that we we like. And uh, yeah, it's just nice and quiet. So yeah, so San Antoine is, uh, again, located in the southeast part of the province of New Brunswick. And uh, it's pri predominantly uh, Francophone, uh, settled by Acadians. Uh, I do believe there's some English history here. Uh, it used to be called St. Anthony at one time, and they changed the name to St. Antoine, which is the same thing, just a different language. And uh, But yeah, it's uh, predominantly French. I think 78% of the population is identifies as Francophone. Uh, so that puts me, me and Missy at the, uh, as a minority in St. Antoine, because Missy doesn't speak any French at all. And I, uh, I can pick out a word here and there, but I, I do not have enough skills to uh, hold a conversation with anyone. I mean, I can say please and thank you, and I understand some words here and there, but not enough to have any uh, dialogue with anyone. All right, so we're on our way to Nova Scotia for Smart 24. We're going to focus on the driving here. So I'm uh, doing a talk today on uh, POTA, Parks on the Air, and I'm also going to expand it to other 
uh, services like Poda, Worldwide uh, Flora and Fauna, Iota, Soda, Lighthouses on the Air, um, and there, I mean, there's tons and tons of others. I don't want to make it all about Poda, although Poda will be in 50%, 70% of the talk today. I, I'm, uh, I feel honored to come and talk to the people today because I've only been back in ham radio for, gee, uh, seven, eight months now. And really only been doing POTA since really uh, as an activator since January. So uh, I'm kind of honored to be invited to come and talk on POTA. I kind of didn't stress over my conversation today, but I, I mean, being being a corporate uh, presenter for years and doing marketing talks, and I didn't want to go and make it too PowerPoint heavy. So I kept it simple. I'm going to do a lot of uh, explanation um, and just talk to the guys. Really, it's just a bunch of amateur radio operators, my peers, uh, in the room today. I'm not trying to sell anything. I got uh, may get some try may try to get some donations for our VE9 Poda thing, but uh, but otherwise, I have nothing to sell. Unlike my corporate world, so we're going to talk about Poda and you know what it takes to activate parks and become a hunter and the rules and and that should take all of like 10 minutes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I got 40. I think I got an hour and 15 minutes to talk. So. Uh, one thing that I am not, uh, I am not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not shy is to talk to a group. Uh, I've done it like I've done it, done it professionally as a career for, for years. So, uh, for me to go out there and really with the move and all that, I didn't, I didn't really have a lot of time to prepare and there's really not much to prepare, uh, for this. You can make it as technical as you want, but that's not my goal. I, you know, you know me. I'm not a, I'm not an overly technical amateur radio operator. I like to keep things very, very simple. All right, so we're just, uh, yeah, we're leaving. Uh, we're just getting to the highway here. We're going through Coquen, uh, New Brunswick now. We're just about to get on Highway 15, head to Moncton, and then get on the Trans Canada Highway from there. We should be in Spring Hill in about an hour, hopefully. All right, so we just stopped here at the Irving uh, truck stop in Olac just before we get to the new Nova Scotia border. So we should be uh, in Spring Hill about, uh, about 25 minutes to half an hour or so. The uh, day has been pretty good, uh, kind of foggy day. So uh, let's get on with the, back on the road here. And the uh, protesters uh, protesting the carbon tax here in Canada are still out there. Uh, been out there for about a month and a half now. And the leader of the opposition, Pierre Polyev, uh, stopped by uh, a few weeks ago and paid them a visit. So yeah, they're still out there supporting their cause. And uh, yeah, they have been given up. They're, they said they're going to be out there for as long as it takes. And they're still out there going strong. One guy. Just one guy out there. Oh well, a lot of flying, so. All right, we're here in Spring Hill on Nova Scotia. Now we just gotta find the venue, which I think is just down the street here. Not too far to go. All right, everyone, we're here in uh, Spring Hill, Nova Scotia for the uh, Spark 24 event. And we're gonna go ahead inside and uh, see if we know anyone. I think we know a few people. Anyway, let's uh, go check out. I got. I think my talk on POTA is at one, oh, 1.45 this afternoon. I got a few hours to kill. We have all the abundance of ham radio plates in the parking lot today. It means there's a ham, come on, a ham event going on here. So let's go check it out here at the Dr. Carson and Marion Murray Community Center here in beautiful Spring Hill, where it's the uh, same weather as what I left in San Antoine. Ceremonies for classroom number two today. 
So first off, welcome to SMART 24. Uh, it's good to see you, such a great turnout. And we'll start right in, uh, we'll do a quick introduction here. This is Craig, Nick Director of One Delta, Sierra, Sierra. Uh, he is uh, an advanced hand, president, uh, vice president of the NSARA, responsible for maintenance and repair of several MAFCON repeaters. So if you get a problem with the repeater sites, you know who to go after. Uh, okay, here he's the manager, senior electronics technologist and consultant. University Electronics Workshop. Now there's a mouthful. St. Francis University, uh, St. Francis Xavier University, has been there 30 years. Involved with emergency communications, EMO, TMR, exercise handshake, and today he's presenting on the IRLP, the Internet Radio Linking Project. He'll start with the basic use and then he'll go through other aspects of it. Great, it's all yours. It allows different IRLP nodes to coexist at one spot. Check these things out, guys. This is James, B1JCS. 90 bucks, Canadian. If you want one of those, check out. I'll put the uh, contact information on the channel here and check them out. I'm going to order one, though. I'm going to go home and order one. How can I do that here? Do you pay, how do you pay for it? Just uh, online? Do a wire transfer? Okay, folks, we're getting ready for our talk here uh, on POTA. So uh, we have nobody here in the room. Nobody wants to hear me talk. But hey, they, hey, you guys, have you guys met George? George, come and say hi to everybody. Uh, hi, everybody. This is George, VY2 Golf Hawk Front. <laughs> say hi to all my YouTube friends. Hello, YouTube friends. Uh, my name is George. I'm from New Perth, Prince Edward Island, Canada. And I talk to George. Well, I don't talk to George. I hear George almost every day on 20 meters. Well, yeah. I kind of hear you. Yeah. We're too close together on the 14247 net. But he's there. Yeah, the two, uh, 14 two, four, seven net, it's to the point that if I'm not there, they think I'm sick. I, I'm, I'm there too. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get ready here, folks. Wait for everybody to fill these seats. Anyway, uh, first of all, a mandatory wing link uh, uh, announcement. Uh, and there will probably be a capsule comment. Oh, go away. <laughs> all right, so our talk is done, the POTA talk here at Smart24. And uh, yeah, knocked a lot of rust off my presentation skills. But I think it did okay. Let me know if you attended my uh, presentation. Let me know what you think. Did I suck or was I good? I just hope I didn't suck that bad. Hey, anyway, we're going to go and uh, meet some more people and uh, chat some more. I'm just going to uh, catch my breath. Well, wow, well, look at that. The sun is coming out. Uh, folks, here in Spring Hill, Nova Scotia, we're getting some sun. I mean, hopefully tomorrow will be a nice day. We can get out and do some work around the house. Oh yeah, it's uh, that's the sun, folks. Anyway, we're uh, just about wrapping up here at the uh, Smart 24. Been a good day. Talked to uh, Wayne V1NR, Steve V1SK, uh, a few other the Poda guys. Uh, met Len V9MY. So yeah, met a lot of the the guys uh, that are very much involved in Poda here on the East Coast. Good to put uh, faces to the names and the call signs. Okay, we're just uh, waiting for the 50-50 draw, and then we're going to head home. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming today. It's been another great sellout, and so everything is good. So thank you, everybody, for coming out. If you should give us a pause, I can pause. <laughs> now, uh, the first thing we're going to do, what would everybody like to do first? How about the cash? Yeah, <laughs> the cash? Cash is always good. Cash is king. Pass. We got two passes, one for everybody, yes. one just for as a thank you to everybody from PEI who's come over. They got to pay all the extra money. So we got one ticket for them. There we go. And the winner is. Do you like to last your mic? I know he's here. First of all, thanks to everybody again for showing up here and making this a wonderful event again. And uh, we're going to try, of course, do it again next year. And uh, thank you very much, and um, uh, have a safe trip back home. Really appreciate it, and thanks again for coming. And all right, so we're all done at, uh, in Spring Hill at the uh, Smart 24 conference for another year. Uh, make sure you go and check out smart24.ca uh, for next year's event. It's a really good day to come out. I uh, got to talk about POTA, 
and uh, yeah, I got to uh, meet some of the guys. So it's worth just worthwhile for that just to go out and meet all the uh, the guys you talk to on the radio uh, so often and see some old faces. All right, uh, I'm Stuart Victor Echo Nine, Charlie Foxtrot. I hope you guys enjoyed our quick recap of Spark Twenty Four. Again, don't forget to follow that website and uh, and if you're in the Atlantic Canada or the Maritimes. Make sure you come out next year. It's a really good event. Okay, I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxfront, 7 3, everyone. We'll see you in a future video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do that right here. See you later.